what is Graves' disease, who gets it, how does it affect you, and what can you do about it? Welcome to class. Graves' disease is an autoimmune disease that's fairly common. It's about 20 to 30 persons per 100,000 population. So in Jamaica, you could estimate that we have about six to 9,000 persons with Graves' disease. So it's fairly common. Graves' disease is an autoimmune disease, which means that your immune system that's tasked with responsibility of protecting you from germs, for example, begins to attack your normal body cells. And autoimmune disease uh, may include things like lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, type 1 diabetes, psoriasis. Now, autoimmune diseases, like Graves' disease, can affect anybody. Graves in particular tend to affect persons between age, age 30 and 60. It can affect both men and women, but women are five times more likely to get Graves' disease than men. Now, in Graves' disease, the immune system attacks and begins to destroy the thyroid gland, leading to a massive spillover of thyroid hormones into the bloodstream. Now, you may not know, but almost every cell in your body responds and depends on thyroid hormones. So when you increase the amounts in your bloodstream significantly, you're going to get a whole host of symptoms. The symptoms from Graves' disease include past heart rate, palpitations. You may have trembling in your hands. You may find that you're losing weight rapidly, even though you're eating more food. You may find a swelling in your neck called a goiter. Your skin may become sweaty and moist, and you may have excessive heat. You can't tolerate heat at all. You may find you're going to the bathroom more frequently, diarrhea. For women, you will find disruptions in your menstrual cycle. Men, you may find um, impotence or poor libido, which is poor interest in sexual activity. The person may become tired and fatigued. Uh, and unfortunately, about 25% of persons may have eye problems. You know, your eyes begin to bulge. Around the eyes become puffy. Your eyes become, you know, rough and gritty as if there is gravel in your eyes. It may become red. You may even have blurred vision, and in rare cases, persons may become blind. These symptoms can culminate into some important complications, which may include a irregular heartbeat, heart failure, a thyroid storm, or osteoporosis. Now, how do you diagnose this? Well, your doctor is the one who would diagnose this. So if you suspect, based on the symptoms listed, that you're having Graves' disease, you may want to Go to your doctor who would look at your symptoms and examine you and then do a few tests. These tests would include a blood test to check your thyroid hormone levels. And if you have Graves' disease, they might be elevated. Your doctor may also do antibody tests to check for the antibodies that are destroying your thyroid gland. You may also want to do an ultrasound and he may do additional tests on you um, to see generally how your organs are functioning. How do you treat Graves' disease? Well, there are a number of different approaches that we take as medical doctors. One is to give you medication to suppress um, the symptoms like the fast heart rate and suppress the amount of thyroid hormones that you are producing. And these are pretty effective. And some persons, after getting treatment for a year or so, may go into remission. But for some persons, this is not sufficient or it may recur. And if it does, then you need to go to the next step, which is figuring out a way how to get rid of hormones that you are producing. And these are pretty effective. And some persons, after getting treatment for a year or so, may go into remission. But for some persons, this is not sufficient or it may recur. And if it does, then you need to go to the next step, which is figuring out a way how to get rid of your problem. This then leads to two options, which would be one, to take in a radioactive substance to burn out or destroy your thyroid gland. Of course, that comes with some side effects and is not always ideal, but it works um, for the most part. And persons who do this would then have to take thyroid hormones for life. The alternative to that would be surgery to remove the thyroid gland completely. Now, this, of course, will lead to you having no source of thyroid hormones, which is essential for life. So you'll have to take thyroid hormones in pills. 
for the rest of your life. Surgery comes with some notable but rare complications, luckily. One of those complications is damage to the nerve that controls your ability to speak. So rarely persons do a thyroid surgery and end up not being able to speak forever. Now, as you might know, I am a functional medicine doctor and of course, I'm going to have some natural options for you to address your thyroid and more generally, your autoimmune diseases. If you want to get part two of this video for me to reveal the secrets to the natural treatment for these and many other autoimmune diseases, type yes in the chat below. And in a few days, you'll have part two.